New devices are generally included in universe for free. The prerequisite is that the manufacturer provides a suitable control protocol. The devices are divided into categories here and each device also represents, uh, how can we say, the connection to the physical existing device. In universe we distinguish between two connection types. These are on the one hand passive connections. I pull here once a D3 media server. Uh, for passive connections we cannot control if they were actually made. These are all connections based on UDP including OC and ARPNET. Therefore you can only tell from the reaction of the respective device whether the command goes through or not. So the indicator is always grey here in front. It is different with active devices. These are all connections based on TCP including MIDI. For example, if I pull in a Ventus here, the indicator is yellow, which means that the device is trying to connect but has not made it yet. And down here I have a global indicator which also shows me in show mode yeah, uh, what the worst state of all devices is. That means right now the condition is yellow. So there's at least one device that tries to connect but has not made it yet. If I now pull in a watch out which runs there in the background, then the connection was made. The status is green. If I then close watch out, after 5 seconds at the latest, go back to yellow. If you want that, then Universe would also issue a warning message that you can react to. The state of the connection is also reflected in the transmission of commands. I take a button and add a watchout command and send it off. I press shift to temporarily switch to show mode. Then I see a green line here. This means that every command in the command stack has been transferred. For example, if I add a Ventus here that is not connected, then the line is orange. Orange means that at least one command in the whole chain was not sent successfully. Of course, if I have a stateless device, it will always be green since I assume the connection will work because I don't have a direct feedback. That means I always have the information about sending, the command went out or did not go out. Another point is the grouping. It may be that I have a lot of devices of the same type, for example a projector. But I don't have only one of that, but I have four. And I want to send the same command to all four projectors. For example, go on or go off. Now, of course, I can do that the boring way and add all of them here and have to turn the command off all over here. Or I group the device of the same type by either marking them and grouping them up here or using the auto group function with automatically groups all devices of the same type. And now I have a proxy device here. I add that here, I add that here, and now all the commands I sent here will be sent to all sub-devices. Of course I can add individual devices and use them individually too, but I can also use the group. This is also very suitable for backup systems. If master and backup should always be synchronized, then I save the double use of commands and this avoid a potential source of mistakes. One last point in the section is the missing connections. For example, when I receive a collection of controls from the library, I miss the original connection I used there. Or if I say now I delete my watcher device here, but as a warning message says it is still in use, so I have a dead connection here. Then I can do the following. I just put in a device of the same type, that would be a watcher in this case, right click, and then Universe automatically shows me that there are missing devices of the same type. To make this easier to understand, I will rename it. Watch out new. And my old device was named only Watch out. And now Universe offers me to replace this missing connection. I do. And it's named to Watch out new. This means we can reset missing connections. Then we still have the internal devices. They are not listed here but hardwired into Universe. On the one hand this is the Universe device itself. That means Universe also exists as a separate device to control Universe own functions. For example to switching between stages or what we need well in this section disable devices. For example if I say that this Panasonic projector should be disabled then this is turned off and I can no longer receive or send commands. 
Of course, the universe device itself supports other functions that are listed here, for example, to control timelines or configure the watchdog. These functions can be found in the manual or will be explained in other tutorials. There are other internal devices such as the timer and the just mentioned watchdog, but we will deal with them in a tutorial called inputs and triggers.